So in this study, through collaborative efforts with Terry King, we were able to collect a series of lobular carcinomas in situ coming from patients undergoing prophylactic or therapeutic mastectomies. And for the first time, we had the opportunity of getting laser capture microdissected frozen samples of LCIS. Then we used these data to tell us about the genomic landscape of LCIS and to define whether LCIS would be a non-obligate precursor of DCIS and invasive breast cancers and to understand the progression from LCIS to invasive disease. And basically what we found was that LCIS is a genetically advanced lesion harboring mutations affecting the CDH1 gene and mutations affecting genes that are recurrently mutated in invasive breast cancer. It's in a way akin to the repertoire of mutations found in an invasive breast cancer which, with one main difference. They don't harbor 53 mutations. In the progression from LCIS to invasive lobular carcinoma, we observed that there is clonal selection, that actually the mutational processes that drive the development of that clone that becomes invasive may differ from the mutational processes that gave rise to the LCIS in the first place.